how the energy of maturity develops let's get into it so first things first that i want to say is only the spiritually accountable will end up maturing over time you feel me so on an esoteric level from a spiritual perspective small spirits may never mature no matter how old they get they could be fucking 85 years old and still be um childish in the negative ways not in the positive ways right uh immature while big spirits they tend to mature a lot faster than other spirits and this is all based upon your spiritual age um or your esoteric age that goes beyond just one lifetime or one physical lifetime so big spirits end up maturing a lot quicker than everybody around them while small spirits may never mature keep that in mind too because when you're a big spirit um you come into this life maturing a lot faster because you already lived hella lives before that and you already found and you're the way your life was set up spirit set up certain footprints in the sand for you to mature faster and find yourself faster than other spirits can you feel me therefore this is how you gain a lot more wisdom and knowledge faster than other spirits and it's all based upon uh you know footprints in the sand and you and, and synchronicities that was planned for you to experience in your life to help you remind you who the fuck you are in this current lifetime uh, and then when you remember who the fuck you are you tend to mature faster and figure out yourself a lot more faster than small spirits who still don't know who the fuck they are um and may never mature as they get older so they, they they remain lost to a certain degree right so yeah we're going to talk about the energy of maturity just had to get that quick disclaimer out the way because not all spirits are gonna end up maturing you feel me so with all that being said let's actually get into the actual energy of maturity and how it develops so those who end up maturing they go through enough experiences enough external experiences in life that help the spirit figure out how to control their internal better let me repeat those who mature go through enough external experiences that help the spirit figure out how to control their internal better aka how to control their thoughts and emotions better pretty much your reactions become more controlled rather than animalistic and instinctual when you're a more mature spirit you know how to not overreact you know how to not over exaggerate you know how you pretty much know how to control your state of being better due to all the different external experiences that your spirit was able to go through and react to to help shape who you currently are now as a more mature spirit so and then all these external experiences and situations and circumstances are supposed to help you figure out how to control your internal better as you react to the external you see what i'm saying and then after enough experiences your reactions you will figure out how to control your reaction re your reactions better rather than not being able to control your reactions and reacting off a more animalistic and instinctual energy pretty much reacting from like your root chakra type shit or reacting without control without self-control type shit pretty much being more animalistic and instinctual when you don't know how to control your reactions you feel me so when you're a mature spirit nothing triggers you too easily matter of fact you get used to life more and more and then you end up developing a higher percentage level of acceptance you end up not caring too much because life will always test you how to let go whenever you do get lost in the external you see what i'm saying so 
after enough reactions to enough external experiences you end up developing more spiritual toughness to not be so easily triggered by anything and then you get used to life's experiences which will in turn help you develop a higher percentage level of acceptance energy or in other words gratitude energy satisfaction energy you end up and then because of that you end up you end up not caring too much about you know whatever the external throws at you and then your reactions will be how life tests you to let go of these ex um of over clinging to these external things that you may over desire and shit like that now notice how immature spirits get lost in their desires and can't accept just being in the moment so whenever they react to the external and things don't go in their desired way they may react in over exaggerated or over reactive ways that can seem animalistic and instinctual because they're not getting their way they're being an immature spirit and not learning what what the universe or God, which y'all humans call God or what spirit is trying to teach him. You see what I'm saying? Because all this shit, all this life, all this shit in life, most of it is just a test to see how you react and conduct your internal and not let the external dictate that too much. You see what I'm saying? That's like the real spiritual test. So the mature spirits, what ends up happening because of these things is that they end up desiring to reserve energy for better experiences instead of letting life drain them which will create worse experiences so mature spirits they know they know that eventually they got they realize that okay life is a test and we and i don't want to drain myself knowing better that life is a test so let me let me desire to reserve energy and let me desire to maintain my state of being better and my internal world better rather than getting lost in these external desires that will drain me you see what i'm saying and then when you get drained you create a worse experience for yourself when it don't gotta be like that you don't gotta over desire and stress yourself out about things that the that the matrix and the masons and the jews programmed you to give a fuck about you don't gotta do all that you can just be spiritually strong and mature and just reserve your energy and focus on the things that truly fulfill you and, and that and the things that you actually have control over such as developing your own skills and abilities and traits and creativity rather than getting lost in the external and your desires that will pretty much um keep you away from that acceptance energy and part of that accept or that satisfaction energy or that gratitude energy that you will need if you want to become a more mature spirit because without those things you will be overreactive to life whenever things don't go your desired way type shit that's some deep shit i hope y'all understand what i just said <clears throat> and then with all that being said here's another point this is also why mature people can sometimes seem more boring and dry than immature people because they already experienced life enough to go through a certain amount of things therefore they aren't as easily affected about things or by life they aren't easily excited they aren't too gullible they um they don't get too affected or offended by anything too much is is like it's almost and this is why mature people can seem very boring or dry or stoic or non-reactive is because they already went through life and all the experiences that life threw at them and they be and it shaped them to just not give a fuck and be more of a mature spirit you see what i'm saying the this is how the energy of maturity develops this is like saturn type wisdom saturn knowledge type shit how you develop as a spirit over time by the time you hit your saturn return motherfucker you better be mature real shit you will you grow good fruits to become that 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 best version of yourself by the time you hit your saturn return if we're going to speak about it from an astrology perspective you see what i'm saying wow 
people who hit their Saturn return and beyond, aka 30 something, 30, 20, what's the Saturn return? Like 28, 29, 30, or some shit like that, 31. I don't I, I forgot the exact range. But once you hit those those ages, if you still ain't mature, you're not doing your spirit justice and you're not being accountable as a spirit and you're not growing properly. You're still being immature and flunked out in a small, weak spirit, a childish spirit. And and when I say childish, I mean that in the negative ways. You feel me? Um, I have a video called uh, Childlike Spirits versus Childish Spirits because there are some positive traits about um, childlike qualities, but that's a whole other context. So yeah, mature people can sometimes seem more boring and dry than immature people because they already experienced life. Therefore, they aren't as easily affected from life or from anything. You feel me? Um, and yeah, because remember, like I said earlier, y'all, you end up desiring to reserve energy for better experiences um, instead of letting life drain you, which will create worse experiences. And then also along with that, you get tired of repeating the same energies over and over again. So you choose to learn one day or one lifetime, aka you utilizing your free will to not let the external affect you too much. And yes, I said free will because I be hearing people on the internet talk about you have no free will, but y'all gotta stop saying stupid shit like that. I have a video called Debunking the, the Predeterminism versus Free Will Debate. You do have a certain amount of free will. It's just humans for some reason get lost in like their flunked out perspective or concept of ultimate god mode free will to do anything and whatever they want because they're little fucking demon seamens that want total control of everything but that's not what the free will aspect is for the free will concept is for you to choose to grow at your own pace infinitely like i said watch my video called um debunking the predeterminism first versus free will debate if you want more context behind that so yeah this is part of it you know you end up, if you're if you actually decide to mature as a spirit this is you putting to death all the outdated energies that no longer serve your spirit's growth and you end up desiring to reserve energy for better experiences instead of letting life drain you which creates worse experiences which a lot of people do that because they don't they never choose to get their own internal world right uh, they never choose to find equilibrium or choose to grow so they'll continue to be animalistic and and instinctually reactive to things never getting a hang or never getting a hold of their energies to control and direct that shit better you feel me mature spirits or big spirits we get tired of all that chaos so and we end up desiring to reserve energy and how to utilize our state of being better. You feel me? Because we get because after enough experiences in the external, man, you get tired of repeating the same old chaotic flunked out energies over and over again whenever you react to shit in this life that throws you off. And then you know better, too, as a spirit after enough experiences because eventually you'd be like man fuck this shit i i'm tired of feeling like this shit i don't want to feel like this anymore and i always do it to myself you have no choice but to be spiritually accountable and come to those conclusions because you don't have to react to this life the way that you fucking do in the animalistic way you don't have to you feel me you could easily let go you feel me well, let me not say easily, but you can learn how to do that over time, a.k.a. maturing. You feel me? And then. Because like I said earlier, um, your reactions become more controlled rather than animalistic and instinctual. So therefore, nothing triggers you easily. You get used to life more and you end up having a higher percentage level of acceptance. You end up not caring too much about things that's beyond your control. And then you end up passing the, the, the tests that life throws at you when you actually learn how to let go. See, this is why it's very important for the the older you get the less 
the less you're supposed to give a fuck, especially old people, because their health depends on their carefree energy. If you stay stressed out throughout your whole life and you never let go of certain things and you never come to conclusions and never accept certain things, you will you will be the type of old motherfucker who will die from like a heart attack one day or from or some shit like that because you're always stressed and you're never learning how to mature you're still a spiritual child who is pretty much being um spoiled and in this entitled energy of not being satisfied due to you not getting whatever you de thought you did you uh, you deserved in this life but really it was just you lost in your desires that you never really deserved in the first place because if you if you would have deserved it you would have got it but you didn't so that means you were here for other reasons maybe one of those reasons was you had to learn how to let go and, and mature as a motherfucking spirit you see what i'm saying y'all humans don't think about things like this y'all too lost and other dumb shit you feel me this is why spirituality is important this shit will your mental and spiritual health will literally affect your physical health especially the older you get so the older you get it's essential and necessary and important for you to mature you feel me it's important for you to give less of a fuck as you get older you feel me so don't don't become an old grumpy person who hates life and still watches the cable news all day and lets shit stress them out like that's the worst shit you could do for your spirit real talk And then there's one more there's one more point I want to bring up before I end this video um, on how the energy of maturity develops. You also the more mature you become, you also become more aware of how to deal with people because you experience all kinds of people. This also helps you control your ego better and limit it when it's necessary or when it's needed because the more mature you become you realize how childish everybody else is around you so you being so you being the bigger wiser spiritual adult who did all the shadow work and shit you're gonna be aware of certain things that everybody else isn't because they're still lost in those lower animalistic natures that you can clear clearly observe but they can't like from the outside looking in type shit you have you, you're able to see everything and they're just lost in the sauce so you become when you mature more as a spirit you become more aware of how to deal with people because you experienced all kinds of energies from all kinds of different people and then you learn how to control and monitor monitor your own ego too because you see how you pretty much get to observe how your ego bounces off of other egos but you're aware and conscious of it therefore you can just see people for the animals and the children that in the spiritual children that they are without letting it affect you too much that's part of being mature you feel me this is when you can you can even down to letting little shit slide like fuck it this spirit don't know any better i'ma just let it slide as long as certain boundaries and lines aren't crossed you will learn how to be a spiritual enough spirit to see things that the other spirits won't even peep and depending on the situation and circumstance, you may not even have to point out anything or bring up anything because all you're doing is being aware and, and as a more as a more mature and, and bigger spirit with a bigger awareness. You feel me? And then you just deal with pe you just learn how to deal with people accordingly, especially if you're spiritually wise enough to understand that spirituality is individuality. So the more mature spirits know how to let other spirits be them, even if certain traits and aspects may be kind of distasteful or maybe not as evolved as you would like to be. As long as certain boundaries and lines aren't crossed. The, the, the more mature spirit will learn how to let small shit slide. You feel me? Keyword, small shit. You feel me? I'm not saying to just let these motherfucking demons do whatever the fuck they want. But you get the point though. Mature spirits have a lot more tolerance for others because they're mature enough to know that. It's kind of like adults or parents raising and dealing with kids you're not gonna take the, the kid that serious because you know it's just a fucking kid so it's the same for big spiritually mature spirits or spirits with a big awareness we treat every other human the same like that 
because they are little little kids to us at least from a spiritual perspective their spiritual age is still young no matter how physically old they are like i told y'all in the beginning of this video um big spirits mature fast small spirits may never mature so it don't matter how old the physical age or the physical body is <clears throat> And since you know how to deal with all kinds of different people and all kinds of different energies accordingly, then this is how you can, you being the more mature spirit, you also know how to handle situations better in the best possible ways it can be without too much unnecessary friction or resistance, aka you know how to de-escalate things and get everybody grounded back into reality. Like it will be the mature spirit who will calm down a, a whole feud or a whole group argument or a whole fight to break out it will be the mature spirit to either calm and de-escalate things or if the situation is out of hand and out of control the mature spirit will just separate from the situation because they're the, the the bigger more mature spirit is too old for all that childish shit you see what i'm saying so you just know how to deal with people better you know how to move better amongst a, a childish mentally ill society as as you, you being the more mature spirit you see what i'm saying <clears throat> you also don't take things to the heart as much as small spirits do so you also know how to deal with people better because even if a small spirit tries to trigger you or offend you it won't even work you will just have a dry response like okay or are or are you done or are you serious like you see what i'm saying like a mature response like only immature spirits get easily triggered and easily offended both frequency wise and vibrationally wise from other spirits you feel me a mature spirit like i told y'all earlier in, the, in, the, in earlier in this video um nothing triggers you that easily you get used to life more um and that includes you get used to other energies and other people more too because you already dealt with these types of people before just in different bodies all these people are just possessed by the same demonic spirits anyway if they try you, if they want to try you you see what i'm saying but it ain't shit but just some immature shit it's kind of like a little kid uh making fun of you or calling you names are you gonna get offended by that no it's a fucking little kid so this is so that's this is also why bigger more mature spirits know how to deal with people better because we don't take anything that serious you feel me we're more mature we're not overly attached or lost in this world like small spirits who who may react in animalistic instinctual ways an immature spirit will want to fight you if you say a yo mama joke to them you feel me like you could be like yo mama's so fat that the f when she got on the elevator that shit fell to the to the ground floor and and they'll really want to fight you over some shit like that you feel me some dumb ass shit so like, i'm just saying hey i'm just saying you feel me mature spirits are beyond this language and linguistics we there ain't no words you could say that could offend me because i i don't because i already know me well enough to know and i'm mature enough to know that whatever the fuck you say don't even fucking matter you're just saying random masonic design words you're just saying gibberish you're just saying what what the matrix and the masons and the jews and jesuits taught you you're just saying random ass sounds why would i get offended by any of that no matter what the fuck you tell me you see what i'm saying that's just me being the more big and mature spirit knowing better than the small spirit and knowing not to let that demon drag me down to their barbaric and animalistic ways of using sounds to go against each other and aka words and shit and just dumb ass shit you feel me but anyway y'all yeah i think that's all i had to say this is how the energy of maturity develops peace Leveling up, leveling up, hey, hey. Leveling up, leveling up
up, leveling up, hey. Leveling up, leveling up, leveling up, hey. Leveling up, leveling up, leveling up, hey. Leveling up, leveling up, leveling up, hey.